Hey guys, it's Miss Sydney, and I have gotten some really important information for you families um, from the district. And some of you guys have maybe gotten notifications on Facebook or um, just in the news or, or on the website, but I really wanted to come and um, take you step by step through that um, and just share all of that information with you. So I'm going to do my best to do it. Um, quickly and concisely, but I just really want you guys to um, feel reassured and to feel um, confident as you go through these next few things. So, um, as of today, we teachers, staff, and families were notified um, that they, our school, Carpenter Elementary, is going to be mailing packets to every family. Okay, so um, they have also said that they want these packets or evidence um, that these packets have been done to be turned in either to school or to the teacher. Um, so I'm going to tell you kind of what that looks like. So first of all, um, last couple of weeks you guys were picking up packets um, from school to complete at home and just doing them at your leisure. Um, this time, they are going to actually be mailing every single child at our, our school their packet. Um, so, uh, if you have a child in pre-K and a child in third grade, um, you're going to get both of those packets in the mail. Okay, now Carpenter is the only school that's doing this. And the reason that we're able to do it is because we are under a grant that allows us the funds to mail. Um, so if you have a child at Carpenter uh, that's in pre-K and a child that's in first grade at TJR, um, the TJR student is not going to have that packet mailed to them. You will need to go and pick up their packet or see um, what the instructions were from that school. But just specifically for Carpenter, they are going to be mailing those packets. Now they are not mailing them until today. So you won't probably get it in the mail until maybe Thursday at the earliest. Um, okay, so that was the first thing. You don't need to come and pick those packets up at school. You can still come and pick up lunch and all of those things, but they're just trying to limit the exposure of staff um, right now. Um, okay, let's see. You can get this packet on the pre-K website. So I'm going to, I took you through this um, originally, but I'm gonna take you quickly through it again in case you have access to a printer and the internet, you can get started now. So I'm just gonna quickly take you through that. So what you're gonna do is you are, oh, I have to turn the brightness down, I forgot. You are gonna go to nacisd.org, N-A-C-I-S-D, dot o-r-g okay and you are going to i'm going to show you on my ipad you are going to go and you are going to scroll and click nac nisd digital resources okay um and it's going to take you to a page let me see if i can turn it this way that looks like this okay and you're going to scroll, scroll, and you're going to see classroom learning. Oops. Oh, gosh. Come on, Miss Sydney. Let me go back. Okay. You're going to see a little box that says classroom learning. Okay. You're going to click that box. You're going to scroll, scroll, scroll down to elementary schools, and you're going to click on carpenter. Okay. All right, and when you get to Carpenter, you'll see this pre-kindergarten. And you're going to click this link. All right, and that's going to take you to our pre-K website. All right, when you get to the pre-K website, you're going to scroll down. This is all the fun activities we've been doing up to now. Um, and you can still use those. Those are still there. There's tons of good videos and activities and all kinds of stuff. But our packet is going to be right here, and it says April 6th through 23rd packets. Okay, and you're going to click on the purple bar. 
okay? And that is going to take you to the PDF of our um, first, or of our packet, okay? So if you want to print that out and go ahead and get started, you certainly can. But it's not expected because obviously um, we need everybody to have the packet, not people just that have printers at their house. So, but if you do, um, feel free to go ahead and print it out and get started. Now, I am going to do a video tutorial that takes you through every page of the packet, kind of like I did last time, and I'm going to do that tomorrow. So be looking for that post on my YouTube channel um, because I want you guys to feel confident with the content that's covered in that. So um, once I get it printed and familiarize myself with it, I will make a video um, that will take you and your kids through how to do each part of that packet. So don't worry about that. We'll get that going tomorrow. Okay, so that's how you get there on the website. You should be receiving that packet in the mail um, later on in the week, maybe Wednesday or Thursday or Friday. Um, and the packet is going to have two weeks worth of activities in it because it covers kind of two weeks of school. So you just work on it at your own pace. Um, and then the district has um, decided that they want to have some sort of documentation that all the students have received and are doing their packets. So um, if you have older kids, they've even kind of talked about grading. Well, don't worry. We don't do grading in preschool, so don't panic. This is not going to be graded assignments. Um, our number one goal in pre-K is that we are getting you guys learning experiences that you can do at home. Um, but they have asked us to document um, that you've gotten them and that you've been working on those activities um, in the packet. So there are two ways that the district has said is okay for you guys to quote, turn in um, the packets. Number one is you can actually physically bring the packet with the work that your child completed to school, um, to Carpenter on April 23rd. There's gonna be like a big box where you can turn it in and at that time um, they will get the packets to me. Um, or you can use email or text to send photos um, of your child's of your child's work or of them actually doing the activity, and you can email or text those photos to me, and I will look through them. And if you need feedback, I will give you feedback. If not, I can just document that you guys did work on that packet, um, and that's all that that's going to look like for pre K. Just knowing that we have. Um, supported you in some way and um, that if you need help um, I am here to help um, and just to know that you receive those materials okay so those are the two ways you can turn those in um, bring it to school on April 23rd or um, send me photos of your child completing the packets okay let's see I've made a little list to help me get through all right, um, I am going to be sending an email and a text to all of you guys. Um, and in that email, I'm going to give the link to this video, but I'm also going to ask you, what's your per preferred method of communication? Would you rather be emailed, texted, or have a phone conversation? Um, and I am going to send that right after I finish this video, so be expecting that. And if you would please respond, that would be wonderful. Um, so if you'll just respond either today or tomorrow with if you would like to be contacted via email, text, or phone, um, what is your preferable mode of communication with me, um, that would be great. Um, let's see. Okay, final announcement is, uh, obviously this week, um, if we were gonna be at school, Friday and Monday would have been school holidays um, for Good Friday and Easter Monday. So, um, USDA is not providing food on those days because we don't have, uh, we wouldn't have had school. So, 
um, you will not be able to get lunch and breakfast on Friday, April 10th, this Friday, and Monday, April 13th. Okay, so they will not be serving breakfast and lunch on those days at school. But really awesome resource that our community has is the Boys and Girls Club. Um, and the Boys and Girls Club will be providing a meal between 4.30 and 6 o'clock. Um, I think they do that every night, but they will not do it Friday. But on Monday, April 13th, you will be able to get a meal um, for the kids in your family and your family um, if you go to the Boys and Girls Club between 4.30 and 6.00 on Monday, April 13th. So if that's helpful for your family, you can certainly do that. Um, I hope this video was informative for you. I, like I said, please expect, be expecting um, a text and an email from me um, today and let me know how I can um, be in contact with you. Um, in those texts and emails, I will send all of my contact information I really want you guys to know that I am here to help you and support you um, in any way. So please, I'm available all day um, to help in any way. Um, I'm still pu publishing my three videos a day for your kids um, so that they can get some FaceTime with Miss Sydney at home. So please continue to watch those. Um, and again, just let me know if I can um, help you guys or answer any questions for you. All right, look for an email or a text from me and I'll be back tomorrow with a tutorial on our packet. All right, thanks guys.